Hey guys, me again. This is uh, No Blow Mo number 14. And it's Wednesday. I really didn't under know what to show you guys aside from my daily life and what I do every day. And actually what I do is sometimes when I have some free time, I either play video games or try out new board games. And this is one of those days. So I figured what I'll do, this is me shuffling cards, guys. Shuffling cards. What I do was uh, I'd show you how to play Monster Cube because I was playing this earlier uh, by myself because it's a one to four play or one to six player game, and uh, it was it's fun. I I like math, so I wanted to show you guys how to play this. And I figured during the video it might be a little longer, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the board all set up with some monster cards and have you guys just uh, find the answers. To some of them, so maybe you guys can uh, leave, watch the video, pause it at that time, and just play with your family or your friends. Or you guys at BGG Con, I know you guys, you guys are there. Feel free to watch it and see if you guys have time. In the meantime, though, I will show you how to play Monster Cube. So because this is one of my one of my favorite games that I got at TGM, and it's just, whoo, it's so much fun. I love this game. All right, Monster Cube. So Monster Cube is played with. Let me put this over there. Monster Cube is played with these cards and these uh, hex tiles. So what you do first is uh, you shuffle the deck, which I've been doing while I was talking, if you didn't hear. I'm going to shuffle the deck. And what you do is you actually shuffle these uh, tiles and you pick uh, nine of them at random. So these tiles have numbers on the other side and dice on the front. There's four variants that come in the rule book. And I'm going to show you variant number one, the original game. There's a second game, Advanced, and a third game for kids, using these back ones, and a fourth game which plays in turns instead of simultaneously, okay? Which is also played with this side. So let me shuffle these really quick. Let me get nine. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, uh, seven, eight, and nine. To actually do this video, I put a wide-angle lens on my phone. I'm using my phone to film. And if you see any blurring or fraying at the edge of the screen, that is why. I'll put these to the side. And I will show you how to play. So I got my 9, and uh, I'm going to set it up randomly with the yellow side on top. Okay, look at that. Lovely. The 9s and the 6s are clearly labeled. Beautiful. Okay, so once you set up your cube like that, what you do is I'll put that to the side. I'll put this over here. And you, after you shuffle the cards, you deal out three cards at random. And these cards look like this. So they, they look like this in the back. This is used for the advanced variant to give to your opponent and modify their card numbers. But we're not using that in the original game, so this back side is just pretty much useless. In the, in the front, though, we have the cute monster picture. Look at him. Yeah, he's a burger. Sad burger, but he's a burger nonetheless. And he has HP right here, 34. And he has a plus two. This plus two is actually the score you get for beating this monster. So once you take this card, you get plus two points, which is nice. So once you get plus two points, that's good. Some cards have a times two. And what that does is they actually just, they don't stack. So there are multiple cards with times two. But what they just do is they double your original score or they basically copy your original score. So for example, let's say I got all three of these cards. These are, this is my score. So that's four plus two plus two, that's eight points. If I had a times two also, this times two is also worth another eight points. So now I have 16 points. And this, if I had another times two, this times two is also worth eight points because that's my original score. So this is eight plus eight plus eight for a total of 24 points, okay? In the meantime, I will leave these three cards here. I'll reshuffle this deck very quickly. So the game goes uh, until the deck is depleted twice. And that goes very quickly. You're like, oh, there's so many cards. Well, it goes very quickly once the game plays, and I'll show you how. So what you do, once you get the three cards, all players play simultaneously. And once they solve the, the, uh, the problem, they just say, stop, I got the answer, and then they tell you. So to get the answer, what you do is uh, you pick one of these numbers that you want to uh, fight, one of these monsters that you want to fight. In your head, don't tell other people. But you look at the numbers and you pick three of them, three, three numbers, in a line. The line could be all yellow, so 842, 
or 879 or 847, it has to be in a straight line. So 842, 879, 217, 967, uh, and such. Or all blue, 953, 958, 178, or 852, or all red, 541, 573, so on and so forth. But it has to be in a straight line. Another way you can get three numbers is if they are just adjacent to each other. For example, 297, or 771, or 875. What you can't do is go and bend the line. For example, 874, that's not a straight line. 874, that's not a straight line. 875 is okay. So it has to be in a straight line. And the last way you can get three numbers is that three numbers from three different cubes that are adjacent. So for example, these three, 977, seven, that's perfect. That You can use that. Or you can do 554 five, because these are three numbers from three different cubes that are adjacent to each other. What you can't do is uh, take the three numbers from a single cube. So 523 three, doesn't work. Okay? So once you figure that out, you can use those numbers to fight these monsters. And what you do with those numbers is you put them into an equation. And the equation has to be as such. A times B plus C. Or A times B minus C. It has to be in that, in that equation. It has to be in that order. Multiplication and then plus minus. You can reorder the numbers if you like. So if I chose 8, 4, 2, I can do 8 times 4 minus 2, 8 times 4 plus 2, or 8 times 2 minus 4, or maybe 2 times 4 minus 8, however it works for you. You can reorder the numbers, but the equation is solid. It has to be multiplication, then plus minus. So for example, let's try to solve this equation live. I haven't prepped this deck. I haven't prepped any of it, but we will try it. So I will try it live, and you can try it live at home. I'm going to leave this up here, and you'll see how long I will take. But let's see how long you'll take, and please let me know. So let's see here. 34, 46. So you can see that 46 might be my best choice because it has the most points. I would get 4 points for beating 46. So that would be a good idea. So what I could do... Oh, another thing before I tell you. Before, before we continue is that before you do your equation, before you say, no, I got it, I got the equation, you can move one cube and just only one cube from the board and put it somewhere else. For example, I could put this 9 over here and then do the equation 9, 8, 4, right? But what I can't do is do 9, 8, 2. That's not three numbers adjacent in a line. That's not good. I can do 9, 8, 4 or 8, 4, 2, okay? And so on with the other numbers, of course. Okay, so you can move any cube. Yes, you can choose the middle cube and move it somewhere else. What you can't do, I know it's not, it doesn't say it in the rules, but it just makes good sense, is you can't move a middle cube and disconnect it from, you can't disconnect a cube from the main grid. Like, like Hive, if you've ever played that. Okay? This makes good sense. I mean, how would it be adjacent? Okay. Anyway, so let's do one of this. I'm going to try for 46, because that seems to be, that would garner me the most points. Okay, so I could do, no, eight, oh. wait, no, yeah, yeah, that works. So, wait, no, it's a lot of this, really, just me going back and forth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eight and move it down here, if you can't see. I'm going to move it over here, and I will use nine, six, eight as my number. So nine times 6 is 54, minus 8 is 46. So, there it is. So you can see I moved one cube to suit my equation, and I got it, plus 4. So I get that, and now what happens is, since I got my card, and I beat one of the monsters, the other two retreat to, into the discard pile, and three more monsters pop up. As you can see, that's how fast the deck would go. So as soon as one person gets the monster, the other two go away, and the deck will deplete very, very quickly. So the game ends once the deck has run out twice. If the deck ever runs out at the end here, the first time, you just shuffle the discards and make a new deck. You should have two cards left when the deck ends. So. And that's how you play Monster Cube. That's it. Very simple game. So the advanced variant, uh, the variant number two, is that instead of having a tableau where you grab monsters, everybody just gets seven cards. 
he gets your opponents your opponents get seven cards you get seven cards and what you do is uh, you look at the thing you the board and you do the same thing you look at your cards and you pick which one you want to fight so let's say I want to fight one of these I want to fight that 46 again uh, just because you know for posterity and you say oh no I got it and then you move your cube if you have to then you do your equation of oh, 46 and then this card you turn it over and it has a plus one in the back this one some cards have different numbers and you choose any player yes including yourself and you can give it to them, you put it in front of them. And what that number does is it modifies the rest of their cards. So for example, if your opponent had a 53 in their hand and they received this plus one, they now have to solve for a 54. You understand? And uh, the thing is, you can keep modifying their cards. You can keep giving the same opponent more modifiers and giving yourself more modifiers if it helps you, if it helps you find equations. But as soon as that player or as soon as that player with the cards in front of him solves one of his monsters, let's say he had to solve for, what is this, 56? Once he solves for that, he gets this card. Uh, this card he gets to give to someone else, but since he did fight a monster, all his modifiers get discarded and go away. That's good. So that's a good way to get rid of the things modifying your numbers. The first person to use all seven, their, seven of their cards wins the game. And that's it. The third variant of this game uh, actually before I explain the third variant I'm going to explain the fourth because it it's close to this one the fourth variant of this game is that each player let's say one to six players each player has their own monster cube monster cube to work with and there's a central tableau right so this is kind of the same as the base game but each player has their own monster cube however this one is played in turns so you have about 10 seconds. You can modify the time, but the rules say do say 10 seconds to fight one of the monsters here and find your equation. Regardless if you find it or not, on your turn, you take the three monsters, or two, or less. You fight, take the three monsters, or take the monsters that are left in the tableau, you discard them and you deal three more for the next player to fight. The next player goes, they take their 10 seconds, let's say they solve it, they get this one, these two go away, then the next player goes with three more monsters, and so on and so forth. You keep going until the deck, again, is depleted twice, and whoever has the most points wins. That's it. That's uh, the fourth variant. Now let's go back. Let's go back to the third variant, and the third variant is basically this side of the board. So once you flip, you, so you take your, your hex tiles, you shuffle them, but you grab the dice side instead. And this one's more, mostly for kids, because this one's easier. Because in this one, you do the same thing. You pick your three cards, your three numbers in a line, or the three numbers adjacent to each other, or from three different cubes. And the equation is just as follows. A plus B plus C, A plus B minus C, and however that works for you. It's no, not multiplication, it's just addition and subtra subtraction. Easy for kids. And to make it much easier, because we're not going to get 56 by three numbers, right? We take all the cards with the red number right here, instead of blue like these. Take the cards with the red numbers, and for the you just take the numbers one through eighteen. The red number ones are one through eighteen, so they're fifteen all the way up to eighteen are red, and the all the numbers higher than that are blue. So you take all the cards from one through eighteen, and you have the kids do this play the game like variant number one, where you take your three. And they fight the three monsters, and they take the one that they fight, and they get the points. Oh, they only get one point, I think. But you can play it however you like. So for this one, you get the two, and this one sh should be easy enough, right? Come on, guys, look at it. Or at least look at, look at it with me. So what you can do is uh, solve this very quickly. The blank ones are treated as zero, so what I'm going to do is to, to fight this monster that's a two. So I'm going to move this one over here. And I'm going to do 4 plus 1 minus 3. That's 2. And that's that. And that's it. Very simple. Very easy game for kids. Variant number 3. They have their own names, but I don't actually remember them. But the, it's just 1, 2, 3, and 4. So however it works for you. So what I'm going to do now is uh, if, you've done learn if you're done learning the game, if you don't want to play along, feel free and uh, stop the video here. Uh, leave a comment, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Go ahead, I'll give you some time. Do share it though, I do like seeing the views and 
sharing the love of uh, Japanese games and games that come out here in Japan with people. But if you want to keep playing along, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave six of these monster cards on the table along with a cube. Unfortunately, you won't be able to move the equation, but you know, you can use your discretion if you want to move a cube like virtually. That's fine too. So let's say, oh, I'm just going to move this cube to that side, however that works, and solve your puzzle. So if you like, what you can do is I'm going to leave six of these cards up and give yourself a nice little time limit. I'm going to leave them up for about three minutes. Okay. Actually, I really shouldn't leave them up that long. You could pause this video. Yeah, I'm going to leave them up for just maybe like a minute or so. Just pause the video, okay? Pause the video, take a look at it, show it to your friends, show it to your family. Uh, play it at a con, play it at people. Show them the screen. I don't care. But I wanted to share to you this game. I'm shuffling it really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another set of uh, nine cubes because of the other set you've already seen. And take another set of nine cubes. Whoa. Leave, I'm going to leave it up for about a minute and, uh, well not maybe, like 30 seconds and leave it up there and you guys can just pause the video and play along, okay? So I'm going to take 9, I'm going to take this one uh, over here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, okay. So if you like, uh, once you see the equations, solve it as many times as you can, solve as many, uh, kill as many monsters as you like. And uh, let me know in the comments below, please, if you've solved it. Tell me the equations. Tell me the equations you've come up with. Tell me. Play along. I like it. You know, I want this to be like a nice little virtual game thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the cube here. Okay. I'm sorry for the initial draft of cards or right, tiles. They look like low numbers. Oh, yeah, they look like mad low numbers. So. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to this side over here, maybe. Yeah, that looks that looks right. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna leave that to this side, and I'm gonna deal out six of these, or however many I can fit. Probably six, but we'll see. And uh, it's up to you guys, however you want to solve it. So. Yeah, six. Six should do. Maybe. Maybe I can move a little bit more. Can I give you guys more cards? Yeah, I can. Yeah. I can give you guys nine. Nine cards. Nice. So. Here you go. This is a 51, by the way. Just and a plus four, just in case the glare is getting at you. So I'm going to leave this up for about 30 seconds. You guys can pause the game. If you guys please like, subscribe, share this video. Share all my videos with your friends and family. Just... Take a look at it. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not really an instructional video. This is just a vlog. This is actually what I was doing earlier today. Just playing this game. You can play this game by yourself if you just like math, if you just like that challenge. Give yourself that time limit from uh, variant number four. See if you can do it really quickly. I'm not sure how 30 seconds is because I can't see the timer <laughs> on the video. Uh, but I'll just, I'll guesstimate. That's how it works. So, yeah, Monster Cube. Good distribution of points, a little high on the 51 and the 56 and the 54, but it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Uh, so feel free and move uh, a block or two to fix your equations. See how much, how many of these you guys can solve. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is vlog number 14. No Vlomo. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have fun at BGGCon if you're there. If not, I'm sorry because I'm not there either. I'm sympathizing with you. So let's both not be at BGGCon together. But if you are, have fun. Let me know if you like this video. Subscribe, comment, share, all that cool stuff. All right. I'm going to wave my hand. Bye.